This is our first morning in Cape Town and I'll just show you what the view is like outside because we're right here in the city centre. spent 18 years in prison on Roman Island. And behind me, over there, is Lionhead. Hi, we're growing up with the quarters and today we are in Cape Town. Town. Yeah. as soon as you come to Cape Town is look up and if you see the tabletop mountain and there's no clouds on it, drop your bags, don't even unpack, just go straight there because the chances that afterwards it's gonna be like covered are really high. And so you wanna make sure that you get the opportunity if you're only there for a few days as we are um, to be able to see it. So luckily though, you'll see coming up if we get to go up or not. This here is their shopping mall food court. It's right on the court. Today we just came down to the port and uh, we were going to go to Robin Island and unfortunately um, it's sold out until Sunday so it books well in advance so something you need to know if you want to go to Robin Island, um, Robin Island is where Nelson Mandela spent 18 years of his life so we thought that would be really good for the girls to um, learn and for us as well so anyhow I guess we're going to have a plan B and do something different today. Um, there are other tours that get picked up this little brochure, there are other boat tours but that's the only uh, company that will go to Robin Island. So the tour itself is, she said, four hours. Can be cancelled if there are strong winds. Um, and then the other thing you need to know is that you need your birth certificates, you need passports, and um, all ID to even book your tickets. So just FYI, if you're coming, make sure you book well in advance if you want to go. This is the exact measurements of Nelson Mandela's cell. And he was in here for 18 more years. 18 years. So even though we weren't able to go to Robin Island, we were still able to read a lot of the different things that are um, talking about all the different prisoners, what they went through and everything. So they have a really nice exhibition um, upstairs here in the hall that you can go in and see. Did you guys learn something? Yeah. 
where yes. I learned. Yeah, that was interesting, huh? This is a map of the whole area. Do you want to point to where the shopping mall was? Where we were last There's the shopping mall. There, yeah. and then you can walk all the way around. It's really a, a really nice walk. There's material, there's... So I'm just like, what are some of the things you can do? There's playgrounds, a swing bridge. I see something that says seal spotting. Should we go try that? Yeah, and there's a watershed. There's a whole bunch of stuff. I see seal spotting. It's not like they're out in the ocean. That's weird. Mm. So they can come relax here so they don't get eaten by the sharks, probably. Mom? Oh yeah, safe spot. People do here, they come and enjoy a nice sunset view. So we are wrong. Julia, what are you doing on Friday? <laughs> on Friday, me and Angelique are gonna go to school. Where though? In Cape Town. In Cape Town, you're gonna go to school in Cape Town. And I'm really excited to go, it's gonna be really fun. And Chloe and I, we're not sure what we're gonna do. Yeah, we don't know at all. We're gonna have a day to ourselves, that'll be interesting, huh? <laughs> we're just right now going into Cape Point. That's so weird. It's a huge park, and it's gonna be just a really neat spot. It's where the Atlantic and the um, Indian Oceans meet. So, okay, so this is the entry to Cape Point. You can either walk up, which is not too far, or you can take the funicular. So this morning, after waking up, um, we spent basically yesterday a whole day of filming, and so that means my phone was completely full of videos from all the penguins and the beach and everything. And um, it's been really hard to back up our videos because we have to upload them all and back them up. And the internet here is not the greatest, so we're dealing with slow internet conditions and such since it's technically the 1st of January. So needless to say, my phone was completely slow and I started deleting things and it wouldn't even delete old videos that I had already uploaded. So long story short, I did something that I shouldn't have done. I turned the on and off button like to turn off the phone and basically it went in it froze and so my phone my phone was frozen and uh, everything online says you're gonna lose all your photos all your videos if they're not backed up we had turned off iCloud so that we can upload them to Google Photos and long story short my phone right now is not even with me we brought it to a, a specialized shop that hopefully will be able to recuperate all the videos and photos because if not um, it's not going to be very good because most of the filmage is done from my point of view in my phone so I'm just praying that she's able to restore it all and we can get the backups. I guess I've been backing up some to our hard drive in the thought that I was thinking if ever something happens to our phone or something if it gets stolen then at least I'll have a backup so most of it might already be backed up some not so We'll just see what happens later this afternoon when we pick it up, I guess. But it's been super stressful for me, like super, super stressful. So I'm gonna have to go all do all the videos all over again. So this was a strategic point for them during World War II. 
Tu vois la lumière là-bas Ouais. La maison de lumière, tu peux dire. Okay, so the new lighthouse is down below because um, the old house, lighthouse, which is up above, they couldn't really see it because of the fog. So they moved it down below. So they made a new one. Oh. Over down there. So you've got the beach down there that's completely inviting, but I think we need to hit up. Then look at this. How beautiful is that? The water is such a pretty blue, and then the white, and then the rocks. It's so cool. It's like a total cliff. And then there's Julia! Here is a really good explanation to my question that I had earlier. How do they differentiate where the waters meet? So here you can see, let me see if I can put my finger. This is the Indian Ocean and it averages 20 degrees Celsius and the Atlantic here averages 14 degrees. And it's the way the currents go that they divide the line right here for the different oceans. There we've got all the distances from Sydney to Rio, London, New York. So right behind me is the Atlantic and India. Restaurants should have swings in them, don't you? <laughs> you can have these like little day beds here. We decided to stop the car, and today we're actually going to film the penguins again because we um, think that we lost all of that footage on my phone. So here we are, and we're gonna go film the penguins. But we thought we'd stop for a little coffee and a drink, and we stopped at this really cool place that looks like this. It even has a swinging, it has a swinging swing in it, which is really cool for the kids. So this will be fun. I can have a coffee and the kids can swing on the swings like this. And tomorrow is going to be a special day. What's tomorrow, Chloe? What's your... It's my birthday. Tomorrow's your birthday. So as we were driving, we saw some little cool little shops and stuff, so we might find a little gift for her. Oh, there's just some beautiful shops here, lots and lots of cool, um, just unique things that we're finding, so. So you can take trains all the way from like Cape Town all around to Simonstown, um, to Bishop where we are, so we're at the train stop right here. Chloe, what's, what was it? It was a penguin on the loose. There he is. Look at the penguin. <laughs> He's confused. He doesn't know where the beach went to. gonna get back. Don't go too close. There he goes. He knows how to get up. Seriously? Yes. This is a little penguin who always comes to say hello. Maybe he likes you guys. Look, he's going back. So this season, or the season we're in right now, is the time the penguins are breeding and giving birth to little cups. So yeah, so that's why they dig holes like that and bury themselves in the ground. So this them. guy's on, laying on his egg, he built himself a little a nest. Girl, yeah. He was doing the exact the same thing and two days ago. ago. Yeah. Okay. I was 
was the one to judge You said you had enough And that you really wanna be with me What you get is more than what you see At first you struck me like Any other girl that I could find When you looked me in the eyes I knew that this was right You're a pretty girl with a pretty name But I'm pretty sure that you're not the same How do you know it's a baby one? So when they're babies, they're brown. And then when they become like a young adult one. teenager, it's more blue-gray, and then that means... And when they're brown, they're not waterproof, so it's their mom who feeds them. And then blue-gray, they can start to go in the water because they have waterproof. And then when they're older, then it's like black and white. This one here, he was a baby, so he has down feathers, and he's not fully waterproof yet but he's just in the middle of changing his feathers to be waterproof. And this one would be a full grown one because he's kind of black. We haven't really seen any blue and white ones, have we? Okay. calling out who, someone can be my boyfriend or that means the um, uh, yes or what else are they saying what was the second thing again um i think they're deciding to come down here they're saying this is my territory yeah. don't come near me yeah or they're calling like their or friends or wife or they're protecting their territory right yeah. Or they're, yeah, exactly yeah, as she said, I they're said looking for a boyfriend. It's like, I really want to get by. There's all these people. Do I dare go through? Or do I stay? Oh, he's doing his feathers. <laughs> He's deciding to do it. And he's breaking through. There he goes. He's squeezing through. Yes, I am. Very tightly. There's a little thing she went through. No? Thank you.